Hi guys, we're gonna bring some tropical foliage into the garden today. I'll show you how to grow a banana tree from scratch. Don't worry, I'll guide you through each phase. Okay, let's start. Buddy will be my assistant today. Place your bananas to one side as we'll firstly prepare the decoction. Ah, Buddy's back, come on boy. A top hack is to store onions in a nylon stocking. This ensures freshness. Onions will rot if stored in a box or enclosed space. The best way is to make sure that air can be circulated around them. Grab a plant pot, big enough for the onions to fit into. Place the onions and excess husks into the pot. Give each onion a rub to remove the older husks. Where are you going, buddy? It's not coffee break yet. Here, boy! Put the cleaned onions to one side. These will be used later in the process. Come on to the kitchen. Place the husks into a boiling pan of water. Press down, cover, and leave to boil. Onion husks contain phytoncides. Phytoncides help to prevent fungal and bacterial diseases within plants. It's ready. Hat on and remove from the heat. Uncover and leave to cool. Whilst that's cooling, let's collect two aloe leaves. Cut off the leaves from the bottom of the plant. Aloe juice has bactericidal properties which protect plants and help to develop the strong and healthy roots. Cut off one banana from the bunch, making sure the neck of the banana is left intact. Strain the cooled onion husk broth into a glass. Put the banana into the glass, neck first. Leave to soak for 10 minutes. This allows enough time for the micro elements to be absorbed. Slice the aloe leaf into segments. Then chop and dice into smaller pieces. Place them into a holding container. Aloe really is an amazing plant. For plants and people alike. Beware though, cause it's also a natural laxative. Finally chop and dice the onions. Don't touch your eyes at this part. Scrape them into the same holding container. In they all go. and we're ready to start to prepare the soil. A useful hack when opening a bag of soil is to cut the bag crosswise. The soil will completely and easily fall away from the bag. Rub the soil through your hands to loosen any thick clumps. Add and mix everything together. This will eventually rot down and release vital nutrients, which will help the new plant grow. Pour the soil into a medium plant pot so that the young roots can feed and grow. Slice through the middle of the aloe leaf. Bend back the top layer. Remove the soaking banana. Gently rub the cut tip into the aloe juice. 
until the tip and neck are fully covered with the juice. Allowing the banana to absorb a boost of nutrition. Hollow out a hole, then with the tip down, plant the banana into the pot. Secure the banana by firmly pressing the soil to seal it in place. Pour the remaining onion decoction all around the banana. Add a sprinkling of water to fully hydrate the soil. Lastly, cover the pot with a bag or cellophane to create a greenhouse effect. Ah, now you're here. Once most of the work's done, remember to keep watering, otherwise the soil will dry out. Do this for between 25 days to a month. Come on, buddy, let's see what's been happening. We've got a sprout. Remove any stray weeds. Now we need to replant into a larger pot. Soak the soil around the plant. This will make it easier to remove the plant. Plus, we don't want to damage the plant or roots. Carefully push the soil away whilst delicately pulling the plant. Use your fingers to wiggle the roots free from the soil. Time and patience is needed at this crucial replanting stage, and it's free and intact. Spray to clean off any clumps of residual soil. Do this with low pressure spray. The last thing you want to do is to damage the plant. I think we're almost done with the cleaning. Now it's time to get those hands dirty. We need to prepare the soil for a large pot. Buddy, come back. The first layer is two parts soil. Next is one part sand, evenly distributed, to cover the previous layer. Next layer is the finely chopped aloe, which acts as a compost, once again spread around so that it doesn't clump in one area. The final layers of two parts coconut substrate or coir. Coir is slow to decompose and retains the right amount of water for the plant to grow. Hollow out a hole large enough for the replanting. Carefully plant and secure by pressing the mulch in place. Making sure the roots are fully covered. Moisten the soil and remember to keep watering as the plant has a high growth rate. Forty days have passed. Let's see what we have here. During this period, spray the leaves to keep them moist and regularly water the plant. This will make the plant feel as though it's growing in its natural habitat. Large green leaves and a thick, strong stalk indicate a healthy plant. Did you know that although we call this a banana tree, it's actually a grass? That's why it grows so quickly. They can reach their full height in around nine months, reaching a height of up to six meters. Just a few cool facts for you. It's important to keep regularly watering the plant. After a period of three months, you should have your very own large banana tree. It brings a tropical feel to any garden. I seem to have done all the work throughout this video. Maybe I need a new assistant.
I just have time to squeeze in a good dad joke. Are you ready? How can you tell if you have a lazy dog? He only chases parked cars, ha <laughs> ha. Or he's called Buddy, ha <laughs> ha. Looks like Buddy heard me talking about him. Oops.